Hi, Cecile. Today is Monday, September 21st, and it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and today's kind of an unusual day for me to be doing another cooking video, but here we are. Uh, I had a kind of a rough couple of days of work, and I've been just exhausted by the time I, I get off work for the last three days, including today. So I thought this would be a wonderful opportunity to do uh, another emergency dinner. <laughs> and you're probably wondering, what in the tar is an emergency dinner? Well, uh, to borrow from Pastor Ben, um, <laughs> what in the tar is a emergency dinner? That is when I am just so exhausted and tired after work or whatever that I don't want to cook but I gotta eat something so it's an emergency dinner is keeping something on hand that uh, is really easy to make and, uh, and can just go in the microwave or in today's case the oven but uh, something that's really easy I don't have to fuss over and work on and prep and all of that and so anyway uh, that's what we're having today last week or a week and a half ago, whatever it was, I did a uh, my first emergency dinner, which was uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, which was uh, uh, what was it? I have no idea. It was Swedish meatballs. I'm sorry, uh, Swedish meatballs, which is probably my least favorite of the emergency dinners. And, uh, so anyway, we did that, and now today we're doing another one that I, I kind of like. It's pretty good, and it's uh, it's this one right here. And I'm tired. It's been a long day. I really need an emergency dinner today. So this is what it is. It's another Stouffer's. See, the Swedish meatball was a Stouffer's too. And this is, this is meatloaf and mashed potatoes and, and all that stuff. Yeah, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and that's all it is. There's no veggie with it, nothing like that. My power keeps flickering. We get, we've had two big fires today, one in Ashland early this morning. And then we've got a big fire over on the east side right now, and it's uh, it's really pretty, looks like it's pretty out of control. I hope everybody's okay, but judging by the black smoke, I would say there's probably structures involved. And not only that, we had a bear down along Fair Creek today from the from the park, Hawthorne Park, clear over to where, we are, where I work at. We had a bear over there. We had the police down there at 7 o'clock in the morning. I could see them down there in the parking lot. Uh, over there on the creek side, and I thought, what in the world are they doing over there? Come to find out there was a bear over there. Strange. Anyway, I haven't heard a whole lot more about that story, so... Anyway, this is emergency dinner today. It's, um... Meatloaf with mashed potatoes, and there, it says ketchup on here, but it's... It's not ketchup, it's like a, a nice demi glaze, so... That's what we're having today, and this is it. There's really nothing to this. I could have just lowered the camera down. When I get tired, I get stupid. I need to go to bed again, probably by five o'clock tonight, like I did last night. Okay, this there's nothing to this. There's no prep. There's nothing. It's really a nice little dinner. Really, it's not bad. So we got the, the meatloaf here and then the, the tarragon mashed potatoes here. Really pretty good. Kind of tasty. Now I'm going to have a couple of pieces of my, my whole wheat bread with some butter with this. And that's going to be dinner tonight. That's going to be it. So that's my emergency dinner number two. I do have another emergency dinner. show you this one more time. It looks pretty good and it's pretty tasty. To have this uh, twice a month is not unusual and you will get old really fast. But uh, anyway, I don't remember what I was 
same. Anyway, uh, I got one more emergency dinner, and I, I don't know that I'm going to show you that. It's another Stouffer's, and it's my favorite, but I haven't had it for a long time. Because the way I want to make it, it's really no longer an easy thing to make. It's hard to make. But that's the Stouffer's lasagna. You get the little bitty one, a little small lasagna, and then I like to add some vegetables to it, like Brussels sprouts. I love those. And then I want to toast some garlic bread. And it, it's really good. It really is. Two, three times a month. It's a really good dinner. You know, certainly cheap enough. But uh, the way I got to make it, it's no longer an easy thing to make. So uh, I always try to keep my meatloaf or my Swedish potatoes on hand. Keep a couple of those in the freezer just in case I do have a bad day and I come home and I'm just so tired I can't hardly move. I have trouble finding my way home. But, well, it's not that bad. It felt a little like that today, but I'm okay. I'm going to go to bed and get a good night's sleep and then head up to the church tomorrow. I'm going to pick JR up again and uh, head up there and um, just hang out. And I got a special, I almost forgot to tell you this. I got a special dinner for you tomorrow. We're making my favorite chicken dish. And I don't want to say too much about it, but. As soon as I get out of church tomorrow, and it'll probably take a while, because we hang around up there for quite a while after the service, meeting and talking to people, and it's really nice. I need to go to Winco. I need to get all my fixings for this nice dinner. This is going to be a really good, it's my favorite chicken dinner. It's going to have a very unusual name, so you'll notice it right off, and you'll say again, what in the car is that? So, um... Uh, if I'm rambling on, I'm sorry. I'm just tired, and that's that's how I get when I get tired. So that's it. We will return tomorrow, hopefully, with my favorite chicken dinner uh, video. So until then, God bless. Okay, come on, stop. I've hit the button twice now. Goodbye, God bless.